could be driving. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Today, I think we're going to go do some pulls in the CRX because the roads are dry. Uh, yesterday, it was really rainy and damp outside. It, there was just a lot of messed up weather, uh, but now it's back cold again. <laughs> it's like 18 degrees and, you know, normal. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, everything is dry now. The fucking sun's blazing. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go do some pulls on some dry roads finally. Uh, we will see how this thing does on E85. I still haven't driven it yet uh, since I fixed the brakes. Uh, so I would really like to experience, you know, the, the brake pedal too and see how the brakes feel and uh, make sure it's not pulling left to right or anything stupid like that. Kind of wanted to give you my opinion on what I think of the E85 with all motor. Did it make a difference? Did it not? Um, my guess is it's not going to make a difference, but it does smell a lot better and is more reliable, I think, just because, you know, this is a little bit high compression motor. It's not nothing crazy. You could run it on pump gas, but I don't know. E85 is always a good safety fuel to use. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about it quite a bit in the last few videos, so hopefully you're not getting sick of it. Hopefully soon I'm going to have some money and I'll have uh, my transmission back for the Mustang. I really freaking miss this thing. I want to get it back together. I'm kind of getting burnt out on doing Honda stuff. Um, I, you guys probably are too. So I would love to get the Mustang back in the garage and get the motor and everything back together. And, you know, get it in the car and running. Because, like I said, I freaking miss that thing. <laughs> I uh, was going through some old videos last night and just kind of watching the drag racing with the Mustang. Uh, you guys should go check those out if you guys are new to the channel and you have not seen my Mustang. Uh, it goes 10-1 in the quarter at 137 and uh, is a freaking riot. That car is insane. So yeah, hopefully we'll get that thing back together soon guys. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing on the road and uh, go do some rips. Just purring like a kitten. I also wanted to say that I think I've gotten so much better at filming and making videos and just being more confident on camera compared to, you know, when I was building the Mustang or whatever like that. <laughs> so uh, if you guys have noticed that the filming has gotten better or whatever, I mean, I used to film like this, like down here, and then you'd look up at me, and now I'm filming like this, which is a lot more, which is a lot better to look at, I think. So I don't know. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy the way I've been filming lately and if I've gotten any better or anything like that. Well guys, I made it about a mile from my house. The car got all warmed up and I turned the heater on and noticed that it wasn't blowing any heat. So here I am back in the garage and I have the blower motor out and I'm doing some electrical testing to make sure it's getting power. I checked the fuses and all that. So here we are, got everything torn apart and uh, trying to diagnose why the blower motor is not working. Uh, it does have power going to the motor down here on the bottom. So, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with this, of why it's not working, I don't know. I'm gonna do some Googling and research on the internet and see what I gotta do to make this thing work or test it. And then uh, I'll, uh, I'll pick back up in a little bit once I know more. All right, so I got the blower motor out and I wanted to test the blower motor individually with my battery charger. So I just took uh, some multimeter leads and I hooked them up to the battery charger here and uh, touched it to the uh, blower motor prongs right here and the blower motor works. Um, so I don't know if maybe the motor itself was jammed up at all. I don't know if the blower motor was jammed up at all or what the deal was but I just, I don't know, it, it works now so maybe because the resistor and everything is unplugged, it's working. I don't know, maybe this is bad. I don't know, I'm gonna throw it back in though and see what I can come up with and why it wasn't working. You can edit it out, shut the fuck up. <laughs>
right guys, so the heater is working now, or the blower motor I should say is working now, and I'm thinking that maybe the blower motor is starting to go out and it just needed a little jolt of electricity from the battery charger to free it back up, and now it's good, and I'll probably have problems in a week, but <laughs> for the time being, I don't know, it seems to work, so we'll just keep sending it until uh, it doesn't work anymore. And uh, we'll go take this thing out for a rip finally. Well, I uh, did some more with the CRX. I actually fixed the uh, steering wheel. The steering wheel had some issues where it was loose because this nut right here was stripped out and it wasn't tight. So I actually had to get a new nut and a new washer or whatever. Didn't film any of that, but I got my steering wheel rock solid now. This thing feels awesome. And uh, I'm out here on the lake just to kind of see how the ice is. And I'm real close to the crack right now. That's why you can see like all the ice shoves right here. But I mean, this is like complete glare ice. Like it's super smooth. Uh, just what I was hoping for. It's kind of cool. You, you, may, you may be able to see how deep the ice is. It goes down 18 inches right here. Uh, 18 inches thick. That's crazy. So I might uh, take a gander out uh, a little farther here and uh, see how everything is, but yeah, there is absolutely no traction out here because it is complete glare ice out here. There's like no snow out here because it rained, which is awesome. And uh, maybe we'll see if the CRX will make it over the bridge or not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna bottom out or not. We'll try it. So far, so good. Don't screw me over now. Well, we made it. Didn't bottom out or nothing. That stock suspension life, though. I mean, there's still a couple shove spots, but for the most part it's pretty smooth out here it is a bit windy out here guys i'm trying to like block the camera so there's no wind noise but uh i'm gonna edit some music in right now so i can show you the view out here of the crx i'm right by the crack right now and i'm gonna walk up to it and show you I'm talking a lot but I can't help it <laughs> I gotta I feel like I gotta share this information with you guys um, so this bay right here is Miller's Bay in Oshkosh and this is where they had the circle track and the road course and everything set up and um, nobody's really been out here and it rained and this bay is super super smooth so I mean realistically we could do like half mile drag racing out here or a quarter mile or whatever and get some top speed runs or something. It, I think this would be super, super cool. And I may come out here tomorrow with the studded tires and get some footage, but I, I would like for somebody else to come out with me with studded tires because, you know, obviously if I'm just out here by myself, it's not gonna be as fun. So this would be super cool. Um, leave a like if you're stoked for some fast, high speed ice racing drag racing on the ice I think that would be fucking stellar
first gear pull. See how this thing is. I want to see what camera angle looks better, and I want to know what camera angles you guys like better too. back home now and CRX is just freaking dialed this thing's ripping good tranny's awesome freaking tune is spot on it just hauls ass <clears throat> now question I was uh, going to talk about that I brought up earlier is do you think I really made any more power switching to E85 and the answer is I probably did pick up a little bit uh, but it's not anything exponential um, that's going to make like a huge difference um, maybe it would pick up a tenth tenth or two possibly in the quarter mile uh, maybe five ten horsepower but uh, that's not really what I'm concerned about I kind of just like having e85 in the car it's cheaper it smells better um, and I just feel like it's safer so yeah <clears throat> hopefully you guys enjoy the pulls that we did today in the CRX I had a lot of fun uh, this thing's just ripping. I wish I had some slicks for it because I feel like this thing would be an animal with slicks on it and would probably gap a lot of people from like 0 to 60 if it hooked up. Uh, just how fast I can shift it and everything like that. I feel like I can be driving this car. <laughs> Hunna be driving. Just like Street Outlaws, how they say Chucky be driving, we could say Hunna be driving. Um... Figured I'd give you guys a little update on the medication that I've been taking. I, uh, somebody did comment and notice that he's like, "Ah, oh, you seem happier. You seem like you're you're feeling better." And uh, to be honest, I don't know if it's that or just the fact that I've been doing stuff or what. Um, maybe the medication is helping a little bit. Um, I've been taking the daily Buspar. Haven't been taking the uh, hydroxycine. Haven't been taking the hydroxycine just because it does make me very drowsy the following day. So, you know, I'm only going to use those in like emergency situations. Uh, but I have been meditating a little bit along with taking the Buse Bar, and I feel like it's doing wonders. Um, I still am suffering from anxiety like almost every night, <laughs> but um, I feel like the good times are that much better and the bad times are kind of fading away. So, I'm hoping that everything's gonna be good and I'll be a happy camper very soon and hopefully my life will change for the better. Um, I've been dealing with some relationship stuff and just a bunch of stuff that uh, is, you know, just part of life and uh, trying to make the best of it. So, I don't know. Anybody out there that's dealing with any of this stuff, just keep on keeping on and Stay positive, and uh, if you ain't got no way to turn, just turn to meditation and try to try to open yourself up and get into yourself and find yourself. Because if you can't find yourself, you're not going to find anything really in life. You got to find what's what's inside of you and and what can make you happy and what you really want. You got to focus on that. And you got to focus on yourself. So uh, yeah. You can't really help a lot of other people either unless you know how to help yourself. So, I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, 
like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, all the problems and stuff I'm having with the CRX. Hopefully you guys are learning some stuff or if you're not learning anything, I hope you're just enjoying the videos and uh, sticking around. Any recommendations on videos, please leave them in the comments. As always, I really appreciate your feedback on, on uh, any recommendations for videos that I could do for you guys. They don't necessarily have to be like, I have to do something. Maybe I can just sit and talk about something with you guys. Um, anything like that, I would, uh, like I said, I'm all ears. So you guys are the viewers, and that's why I'm here. So, yeah, keep on keeping on. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new, like the video, and we will see you later.